We have some unfinished business in Cold War Zombies, and that business is weapon masteries. I'm not going to lie to you. I forgot these kind of existed until Paul in our Discord brought it up. So shout out to Paul. And I figured, you know what? It could be fun to hop in and, you know, just mess around with some weapons and get some masteries that I didn't know I needed. But you can see I do have a lot of them. But then once we get towards the bottom here is where uh, we have a whole lot that we need to unlock. And I figured since we have so many, I could just hop in with one weapon and then just hit the box for a few others and we can just knock a few of these out. But to start us off i'm gonna be using the baseball bat because that seemed like fun and i know i've been playing it a little more often than uh, i have in you know recent past uh we've taken a bit of a break from cold war after uh you know modern warfare and everything came out because we played it for like two years straight but this is such a good game i really wish it got like a little more development time and we could have had like a few more zombies maps but it's still just so good and i probably should have checked how many kills i need for the bat but I guess it don't matter because we'll be using a bunch of random weapons anyways after we get the mastery. My one complaint about the bat, it has great sounds. You can hear like the crowd cheer and everything after you like hit something with it. And it has a very fast swing, but I'll say this every time I use it, the inspect on it isn't very good. I mean, it's a cool little gesture with it because obviously it's like paying homage to who was it? Babe Ruth? I don't know baseball. I'm not going to lie to you. But somebody like calling out like where they're going to hit the ball. And it's a cool gesture and everything, but I wish I could see the weapon. You actually see less of it when you inspect it. Like, you only see like the very base of the handle. But I really hope they go back to this style of zombies and we don't have something close to Vanguard for Treyarch's next game. I feel like that'd be a gigantic disappointment if we just have like Vanguard Zombies 2.0. But I feel like Treyarch knows what they're doing. That's like the one studio I really have like a whole lot of trust in. Because for Cold War, I really liked every aspect of this game, at least for the most part. And I feel like they really do listen to player feedback because even when they're just doing like the ranked mode for like modern warfare it seems like they're like oh people don't like this map okay we'll take it out all right uh we need to balance this we need to do that like they, they actually sit and listen to feedback and infinity ward just gets really stuck in whatever they do like they get stubborn i, I just feel like they're the studio out there that cares the most about like player feedback and how players are enjoying the game. I forgot how fun the spawn room is. It's awesome just having rounds fly by with like no rampage inducer on. Because the rampage inducer, you know, after you get used to it, like in your plane for a few rounds, it's fine. But at the start of it, in the start of the game where you got like no perks, you know, no armor, and the zombies are already sprinting at you like round three, it gets a little scary. But in this where it's just endless zombies, so much fun. I'm glad they did another spawn room like this because it's, it's like, uh, what was it, moon? moon that had the area 51 spawn my first time going through and playing that was actually kind of recent but that spawn room is just so much fun like trying to train up there and you know grab jug before you actually go through the teleporter is like a, a fun little challenge to start off a game let me grab death perception this is also one of the, the most fun maps to do a first room challenge on they got everything you need in here you get death perception, which gives you extra, like, uh, I always call it scrap, but I think it's just materials. The blue and green materials, if you got this fully upgraded, which is nice because you also have an armor stand right here. Doesn't need power for it. And you have a workbench. The one thing they did fumble on is ruining my truck spot here. This is so fun to sit right here on the truck. And they'd only climb up from this side. That's where I spent like most of my time on this map when it first came out. And it was one of the most fun like zombie grinding spots because it wasn't too OP. Like I'll sit there and grind camos up there. And after like, I don't know, round 20 something, it, it, you start to run out of ammo before they can even get up there. Even with Ring of Fire, you're still gonna have to jump down and, you know, train for a second before you go back up. It just wasn't necessary to, to nerf it. I miss you, truck. Also, somebody left the, the keys in there and the lights on. That battery's gonna be dead. The only thing we're really missing in here is if the box spawned. Because we could just first room challenge this up and try to get as many of the uh, weapon masteries as we can. But they did not want to bless us with a nice box spawn. Ooh, double points plus Tesla Storm. Look at this. It's just printing money. And you know what? Let's stun them all too. This huge horde of zombies. Ooh, we just got like 10,000 points just from doing nothing. Let's get a few kills in here too. Oh shit. Well, this is what happens when I start getting cocky. All right, well, I guess I'll start opening up the portal. We survived until like round 12, but <laughs> I was hoping we could go until at least like 15. All right, see you later, zombies. I'm out of here. And just to jerk off that first room again, it's such a good way to just get a lot of money to go and open the map up. Eh, I should probably grab jugs because I'm right here. Give me that. Oh, wait. There is a jug Easter egg on this map, but I don't remember it. There's a lot of side Easter eggs on this map too. I'm really glad that this was the final map because it feels like they actually put a lot of time into it. And I know a lot of people were mad that it was like reused from the campaign, but when are you ever going to see all this? 
you really play the campaign so often that you're like, oh man, I've I've seen this before. Like it's all different atmosphere. There's new stuff in the way. It's all nighttime with the lights shining. And they put in so many like good side Easter eggs to this map that I think it's it's fine. And I'm not gonna say people are just complaining to complain because I complain to complain a whole lot, but they are complaining to complain. Like even just in this area with the whole arcade, like they got Dreisendrack in here, like they have knocked. It's just such a good map. Oh, and they got like the creepy Easter egg in here by shooting all the TVs in order, playing Simon. And they got Bubby. So we got the flashlight. There is one more component we need. It's hiding somewhere in here. I must have missed it. Oh, there it is. Oh, they give me a coin. I'll take that. So I'm pretty sure if you keep this door closed, you actually might be able to, be able to open it and do it. But if you just stand right here and you get right in the sweet spot, they all just stop moving. It's like you're not supposed to be in this very spot. There's got to be like some clipping where they don't expect you to be here and the zombie pathing just completely cuts out. Like they just don't move. But then you move a little bit forward and they all start coming. And then you move a little bit back and you slide right off. I just remember when like they were teasing this map and they, we saw this image here where it said coming soon, knocked there on Toten. And everyone lost their mind. They're like, Zombies Chronicles 2! Zombies Chronicles 2! Which would have been sick, but they, they ended up not doing that. But we do have Noct, and I was talking about it earlier, and it's been a minute, so I want to try it out. Let's hop on in. Oh, wait. No, we need to lift Lockdown for that. I like how Lockdown shuts down all the arcade cabinets. Oh, fuck me, dude. Stim. 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 I'm dead. I'm going to die here. Well, if you can tell, I'm a bit rusty. Well, since it did back us out, how far are we on weapon mastery? Oh, we need 1,200 kills with it. Damn. You know what? We'll get it done. That was just a warm-up game anyways. Let's go ahead and speed run back to where we were. All right, we're back to the streets where we began. Oh, I forgot that the mule kick machine is actually like a trap. And it's actually one of the best traps in the game. It actually gets more kills than literally any trap that they've added into Cold War. And you might be surprised being like, what? There's traps in Cold War? There is. You probably never even used them. But this thing up here, this helicopter, you can call that in as a trap and it'll kill like five zombies. I'm not even joking. It's, it's like such a small number. And let's see if we can build this before any zombie comes and hits me. Beautiful. All right, let's go through. This was a nice little area for high rounding too. It's very fast. Four zombie spawns here with one in the back. I could never do it though. I always got my ass kicked in this area. Oh, and just the aesthetics of this area right here. Beautiful. Tell me this is recycled from the campaign. You can lick my balls. Bring on the abomination. Let me see that fucker. Give him a kiss. Get all three heads. Ooh, I forgot that he runs real fast right at the start. Like bust his head wide open. And he shoots lasers. The Abomination is one of the most annoying enemies to deal with, though. They are so tanky, like so spongy. They just eat bullets. And they're just strong as shit. And when they won't fucking open up their head, they're kind of tough to kill. There you go. Yeah, go ahead and yell. And go to bed. And they have this nice little safe room right here. It's not safe because it's fully like radioactive or whatever. But the zero zombies will spawn up here. So as long as you're not up here for too long... It'll be all right. And since we do have to get a decent amount of kills with this, let's find a little pack a punch it. Throw on some Shatter Blast for funsies. Now let's get pack two. I'm gonna go ahead and switch up my field upgrade and grab Aether Shroud. I want to deliver some pizzas. This is my favorite part about Cold War. You really don't need to train that hard. I'm literally just running in a circle and the zombies are kind of just lagging behind me. And then you just give them a little boop and they all die. How do I still not have Aether Shroud yet? Come on. There we go. That should give it to us. Now let's whittle this round down a little bit so we don't have too much traffic for delivering our pizzas. Because you know we get there in 30 minutes or less. Eh, two zombies. That should be good. This was insane when somebody figured this out. Just Aether Shrouding right through there and finding Ronald Ray Gun. What's going on, dude? Can I take a pizza? There we go. Oh, we actually have 40 seconds to deliver it. Let's see if I remember all the spots. So I know I saw one in the movie theater, so I'm going to do that one first. Right here. Here's your pizza. Enjoy. And we're going to need a little more speed. So I'm going to grab some crack juice. Very convenient that stamina up's in here. Give me my money. Do you see what weapon I'm using? Ryle of Ray Gun's super greedy. Unless he gives me a Ray Gun at the end of this. There's a pizza right over here. Here you go, sir. I'll be taking that coin. And that coin just reminded me I need to play Nox. I, I got so sidetracked. What's this? Oh. Some salvage, that's what's called salvage, not scrap. Same thing, basically. And I'm pretty sure the last two pizzas actually go to restaurants here. Kind of disrespectful to bring your own food to a restaurant, but I know there's one in the bar. Here you go. Enjoy. Maybe this bar don't have food, so it kind of makes sense. Is our last one in here? Yeah, it is. You guys disrespectful as hell for bringing in pizza to a burger establishment. You my payment? 
Okay, one more. Here you go, you fucks. Enjoy. Now give me a ray gun or it's your kneecaps. Huh. Chose kneecaps. That's also like one of the best rooms for grinding high rounds too. Just sitting in there with a M79 and like a death machine. I've spent so many hours sitting just right here. Such a good game, dude. And you know what? Since we're right here, let's hit the box and see what our next weapon is going to be. I think we'll probably just do two weapon masteries for today. The Groza? Do I have the Groza? Let me check. I took a picture of everything I got to do. I don't know. I think I still have the Groza to do. So that's cool. We'll work on that. And you know what? Since we got insta-kill, we might as well start. Actually, I forgot there's the whole apply blueprint feature. We have a bunch here. Um, let's do motherboard. And it's reactive. It has no ammo though. Oh wait, no. 40 bullets? That ain't bad. Just needs pack a punch. Actually, yeah, this thing's still kind of ass. And I forgot to get a very important perk. I'm gonna go back and forth through these portals a whole lot. And that very important perk is not tombstone. It is right over here. It is quick revive. Very nice. Why isn't the music playing? It played for Juggernaut. But no quick revive tune? What's up with my tunes? Whoa, what was that? I swear I didn't even jump there. The bat lunge just sent me into the air. That's crazy. Hold on, let me see if I can do that again. Oh, that was that time I was climbing. Maybe I need a zombie right by it. What was that? Holy shit. I don't know if I'll be able to replicate that. I can't just climb it normally. But I went way in the air. I done went and forgot again. I'm going right to knocked. Let me in there. So cool. Such a cool little side Easter egg. And they actually have all of knocked. Well, not all of it. The door is not here. But they have a good portion of it. Actually, a lot of it. And that door is open right there, though. Is that always like that? Because you don't want to buy the staircase, so you can camp right there. Oh, I forgot this is timed. So I want to save my ammo. I want to knife these first few zombies. Oh, and there is... Uh, a three hit knife? Are you serious? On what's supposed to be like round one? That's wild. But there's like different tiers you can get to. I'm just going to headshot them because you only get a very limited amount of ammo. And if you get like through a certain amount of waves, you get different rewards like right here. We'll get a little bit of this. I know why they have all knocked here. I forgot that knocks actually in D Machina, but they could just add in like a zombies mode into Cold War or into, you know, Treyarch's next game just to make zombies more difficult. Because right here, they, they just up the, the kill count or like the hit count, the health count. I missed a bullet, which is big L. And just make it more difficult. I, I also just collided those zombies. I'm crazy. So what do we get here? Oh, we get our M14. Beautiful. Our DMR. So if you got like the DMR to get like some camos on or something, this would be a fun way to do it. Oh, and is time up? The timer is no longer here. But we did make it to the big chest. Oh, we'll take that. Some full power and some bonus points. Oh... And look at that. The little window opened up. I want to see like a, a boundary break of of this whole zombies map. That would go crazy. There's a bunch of little hidden secrets around here. And I want to see if there's like any Easter eggs that we haven't found. So I always see like those uh, Dalek JD videos come up of like this Easter egg found X amount of years later or this many days later. And I want to get to the point where they're doing that for Cold War. It's like, oh, how do we miss that? Because there was something with... Uh, I'm pretty sure it was this Easter egg. Like the, the creepy Easter egg inside of here. Oh, shit. Let me get these down to like one zombie and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Because this shit is so obscure. I don't know how anyone ever found it. But if you come over to here and you throw a nade right in this corner. Look, a VHS tape will fall from the side of here and you can pick that up. And then you can toss it into over here and do the, the whole creepy easter egg i don't want to do that i'm too scared and i can't keep getting sidetracked we need, we need to get these masteries done all right what perks are we missing let's go to the wonder fizz uh just give me everything i'll take one of everything and one more thing i hate that they changed about this map is they made they added collision to this little bar thing here you used to be able to like tony hawk up this and go flying and even loop back down on the other side it was so much fun and i can't even do it, it like won't even let you slide right here there we go to slide a little early but you see like the momentum i get right there and i'm just hitting the ceiling it sucks so dumb that was like the most fun part i guess i'll throw on like the first pack a punch for this and then we'll get um i don't know napalm burst i never use that oh in the pack a punch camos what a weak inspect on this gun by the way but the pack camos on this map were pretty good too oh accidentally hit my flashbang and let's get out of here before i die from radiation when we first looked at the masteries i was a little bit surprised that we have over like a thousand kills to get with the bat but then i i remembered how easy it is to get like gold viper and plague diamond and everything on just melees you literally only need like 750 kills because you're not going for crits and i think like the hardest part about it is like getting jackrabbits which is like getting 20 kills without getting hit it's a little tough for a melee weapon but with a 
little Tesla storm, it, it makes it super simple. I don't think we'll have a whole lot to get on the Groza though. We probably just need like 100 or something because it's 2,500 kills for, or 2,500 crits for each weapon. And I know for sure that we got the Groza done. I won't, I won't say for sure, but I know that we got a lot of it done. And speaking of some unfinished business in this game, we started like a, a second road to dark matter and I never finished it. So I don't know. I, I just felt like people didn't really care too much about Cold War multiplayer, but now that, uh, you know, we've had a few years away from it, it could be fun to go back to it. And I know this is zombies and there, there's not a whole lot of crossover between zombies and multiplayer people, but if y'all want to see me go back to, and finish my, my second dark matter grind, let me know. I could be down. I'm going to switch up my, uh, ammo mod a little bit here on the bat. I'm going to throw on uh, cryo just because I feel like the shatter blast is just going to take away from my kills. It is nice, but it, I don't think it counts towards our mastery. I wish we could just sit in a corner and use ring of fire with a melee. It would be so nice if there was like a, I don't know, like a, a swing speed boost with ring of fire when you're using melee weapons because ring of fire just seems so pointless with them. And there even is like a camo challenge where it's like get X amount of kills while using either ring of fire aether shroud or like cryo freeze or the free whatever the freeze field upgrade is i don't even know what it's called because i used it so little that's a level up did we get our mastery done yet i don't think so but we got enough to pack three more than enough so let's go do that real quick it's still one shotting zombies but that abomination took a few more hits so we'll do that and then while we're here might as well pack a bunch of grows up one more uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh i forget that getting melee kills or doing melee damage does give you some health back but not a whole lot as you can tell and that's our first down this game not awful especially with my track record let's see if i can electric cherry a zombie come here why isn't cherry getting them there we go it's very unfortunate that i just spent all of my money on pack a punch because now we can't even get our perks back i'm gonna go buy back what i can at least so we're definitely gonna need quick revive uh let's get stamina up and that's literally all we can afford we can upgrade it's uh legendary though so we'll do that that won't cost us nothing except for some salvage but we're kind of rolling in salvage right now. We got to be getting close to this mastery now. We're at like uh, 1,200 kills, almost 1,300. I did get a, a good portion of kills with the Groza during insta kills. And I have thrown a few nades and Tesla Storm's probably taken out a, a few on top of Shatter Blast going off. So maybe subtract like two, 300 from our total. And that's the amount of kills that we have for the bat. So uh, we're probably like a few rounds away from getting it and we got a decent amount of money i'm gonna go try to grab the rest of our perks should have probably left a zombie to do it but we got our tesla storm ready so if any funny business happens i can just pop that i'm just gonna pop it preemptively uh go ahead and give me everything back thank you what's really wild to me that i was just thinking about is how the chrysalax like the wonder weapon on this map how it's like a melee and a gun hybrid how it's some like dark aether weapon like coming from the dark aether and it don't one shot after like what round 32 or something but a fucking normal ass baseball bat will and i get it because it has like kind of like a sweeping swing where you can take out multiple with it but so does the scythe at least i think so like why not just keep it a one shot all the way through because it'd be so fun to do a round 100 just like crystal axe but it becomes kind of a liability after a bit so i remember when like the map first came out and people were just sitting in a corner and like setting up like a macro to just a swing and they could just walk away and go do whatever until like round 30 something really 31 rounds into this and still don't have the mastery damn dude oh there it is we finally got it, it only took 32 rounds but we did it we are now a master with the baseball bat. And I have 63,000. So I'm going to go ahead and get pack three on the Groza. And we're going to see how long it takes for us to get that. Honestly, I thought we were going to hop in and you know, get a few kills with each weapon. Because I feel like I've used a lot of weapons in this game a, a decent bit. And then we just unlock the mastery for it. But I got my work cut out for me. At least now we can shoot. Even though this don't seem like the strongest gun. It is only blue rarity. I, I definitely need to level this thing up or tear it up. Whatever you want to call it. Oh, that's a bitch spot to do a laser from. Broken sea everywhere. Oh, and this does nothing to the abomination. The gross is pretty weak. No wonder I don't have the mastery on it. This thing is kind of booty. And as much as I want to switch to Ring of Fire, I feel like that's a death sentence with this gun. Even with the, the added bonuses, it's not that great. Like, I, I have to go for headshots with this if I even want to kill Zombie in a reasonable amount of time. It does look really cool, though. This is reactive, and it has a little, like, hologram popping up on the bottom. It's just a view model for this gun. You can hardly even see it. I'm starting to think I got a lot of kills to go on the Groza. Or maybe I do have the zombie mastery for it done. And I just don't have the multiplayer mastery. Because I, I just took a picture of all the names of the guns and everything. Like from that list. I didn't really highlight over each individual one. So it's very possible that I already have it done for zombies. Considering the amount they have to get for each like 
camo. But if I end up not having it done by the next like X fill point, then we'll just work on it another time. But five rounds between like round 36 and 41 is still a pretty decent amount of zombies. So if we don't got it by then, then maybe it's bugged or something. All right, we're at round 40. I'm going to give this one more round and hopefully one more round's all we need. All right, we've made it to round 41. I didn't see it pop up. Maybe it did and I missed it. Let's go ahead and exfil. Go ahead down the little zip line and let's start our exfil. There we go. And then we just need to head up this right through the teleporter. And let's see if we can clear these guys out. I'm going to have some fun with it though. Give me some Gersh's and uh, a death machine. Let's toss down a Gersh. We'll try to get a few extra kills with our Groza here. Death machines just for emergencies. What the fuck? And a little bit of DMT in that Gersh. We'll just keep popping them. There's only five left, two left. Where are they? Where's this one zombie you speak of? Oh, he's right here. Later, loser. Go ahead and land with a whole minute to spare. In our final stats, 364,000 score, 2,700 eliminations, 918 crits, and only one down. Not bad. Then we got our bat master and sharpshooter. Crazy, you can get a sharpshooter for the bat. Where are we at on the Groza? Gunsmith, weapon mastery. Oh, I still needed 600 more kills with that. Eh, we could do that another time. But it was fun to hop back on some Cold War zombies. I'm glad we have an excuse to actually get another grind going on there. Uh, it should be fun to knock out the rest of these masteries. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Uh, truly appreciate all your love and support. And I will see you in the next one. Later.